I'm pretty sure that this Saturday's England versus Sweden game will bring about the end of civilization. It's going to be a 3 pm kickoff, midday drinking, heatwave sunshine, just being paid Saturday, coming home mania, chaos. Win or lose, by around 5 pm, the streets of every city in the land will be full of people acting and sounding, well, like Ross Kemp did after the win over Colombia. You will never know what that means to me. That is everything, everything. We love you, boys. We love you. Genuinely terrifying. Usually when someone says they love me, I get a warm glow in my chest. But after that, the only warmth I'm feeling is in my underpants. I can't even imagine what state he's going to be in after the Sweden game. Although looking at that video, it does look like he might have been partaking in a little Colombian produce during the game. So maybe he's just getting really involved in the tournament by sampling a little of what each country has to offer during the match. He'll probably be popping out a video late Saturday afternoon where he's surrounded by flat pack furniture and gorging himself on Ikea meatballs. Already, it seems like the entire world has gone crazy and is well on board the World Cup bandwagon. I'm sure you've already seen that video of MPs celebrating Eric Dyer's winning penalty in the week. At the time, I joked that the next thing we know, they'll be raising questions about England coming home in the House of Commons. And then this week, this happened at PMQs. McLean! Hey. Hey. Mr Speaker, after last night, I'm sure there's one question I don't need to ask the Prime Minister, which is, does she believe that football is coming home? Yes. <laughs> can, I, can I say to the Honourable Lady, I sincerely hope, actually, that members across the whole of this House will be congratulating England's success and welcoming England's success. Yeah, it probably is coming home. But given recent history, when it does, in 40 years' time, after it's settled, had a family and contributed to society, the government will try and send it away again because it hasn't done the right paperwork. It's great there isn't anything really important for MPs to discuss at the moment, isn't it? Like the NHS crisis or Brexit or Northern Rail or potholes or pension deficits or nerve agent attacks or the Irish border or anything at all. Good stuff. But the mind games have already begun and everyone is trying to get one up on the Swedes and its radio station Capital North East who have hit the country where it hurts, right in the Ikeas. They paid a visit to the Gateshead store to remind them that football was indeed coming home. Upset them too much though, yeah? They might take away those delicious hot dogs at the end. Or chop and pig tube as they call it in Swedish. The irony being that I imagine that most England fans will be making a noise very similar to the name of an IKEA coffee table if England do lose that game. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I realise that IKEA furniture is the perfect analogy for the England team. It's been reasonably inexpensive to put together when compared to the other options. When you look at all the parts laid out separately, you wonder how the hell it's all going to fit together. And it looks pretty good on the eye. It does the job. But you still worry that if it's put to any real test, it's all just going to fall to pieces. Enjoy the match. Remember, football is coming home. As long as England don't get unstuck by a stray Allen key anyway. We are done for now. The next update from the World Cup will be in a few days. If you're missing us between now and then, check out some of the old shows, find the podcast, find our Twitter account, find our YouTube account and download some of the old shows. You can do all that at ontheleftside.co.uk. See you soon.